For the best gameplay capture there is, pick up an Elgato today. Links are in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode in FIFA 17. And today, lads, we're going to start off with a match against Arsenal on the very last day of March. This team, by the way, is actually the last team that we lost to Arsenal, unfortunately. I think we ended up getting knocked out of the FA Cup by them back in January. Yeah, around about two months exactly was the time that Arsenal gave us that L. So hopefully, we will avoid that happening this time out in the Premier League. After the Arsenal game too, we've got a pretty stacked month of April here. And hopefully, it might actually end up getting even more stacked. We actually want it to, but... This is what we have. West Ham, Leicester City as well. And then we begin the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Of all teams to get, we've picked up Inter. So we have some big games to play. I think that goes without saying. Before we get into the first one though against Arsenal, I'll let you all know that the player at the end of the previous episode was Rude Huller indeed. If you did get him correct, congrats. These are a couple of people that did. And we are going to have another one of those at the end of this episode as well. So this game then against Arsenal, it will be a bit of an interesting one, you know, because we've had to rotate quite a fair bit. We have a lot of players that are tired. Some players that are picking up a bit of a knock. I think one was even suspended there. But basically, the front three is Masonda and Costa. Bale keeps his spot, obviously, because he's pretty fit and uh, ready to go. Fabregas, Loftus Cheek, Van Ginkle, a bit of a rotated midfield there. As for Laquetta's in, still David Luiz as well. But we've got Kale and Ivanovic making a rare appearance as well. So definitely like five or six players thrown into that starting lemon that we don't normally have. So. It'll be interesting. Hopefully, it can be enough to get the job done. Chelsea do have a pretty good record against Arsenal at the Stamford Bridge, don't they, in recent times? So we can hopefully keep that going. Let's do it. For any of you that need a reminder as well that we are actually still undefeated in the Premier League, even at this point, 28 games in with the 29th game being played right now. We've won almost all of them. We've drawn three. We're just on an insane run in the uh, Premier League. But this team, again, was a team that beat us in the FA Cup. If they do it to us... In, of course, the Premier League. Keep in mind, too, that Arsenal are the only team ever in Premier League history to go an entire season undefeated, and we're trying to replicate that. I'm sure as well, for their legacy, they want to be the only team with those bragging rights. So you know that they've got a little something extra to play for, too. So this is going to be a pretty interesting game, and a big game to start as well. And I'm going to try to run all the way here, and then send away Bale. I was hoping he'd let that run, and now he's just going to somehow try to beat Monreal, which he's been able to do nicer here. I don't think I'm going to win this header. Or maybe I will. Or Koscielny, or Old Black. Oh, that got pretty awkward. In the end, they do keep it out. Are oh, they going to play it short? They always do, Arsenal. They're like one of the very few teams that like constantly do that. Well back, shot. Hit the side netting, and it's going to be another corner. They've had so many corners in the first 30 minutes of the game. It's, it's mad. But a tackle there by Fabregas. Can he win it back? No, he can't. He just can't. We cannot dispossess him. It's just not happening. There we go, finally. Off his cheek. Back to Fabry. Ah, Maximovic steps in front and stops the pass. That was actually working itself out very nicely. But the one defender steps across to stop it. Van Ginkle. Bang. Strike, son. Do it hard. Oh, got by the keeper, but just wide. That's a nice run. Up the middle, please. Come on, Costa. Lovely ball this. Bang. And oh, it's hit the post and the cross and anything, please. I saw that. He was going for the scissor kick. I mean, the scorpion kick, fucking nonetheless. Oh, nearly a score. Oh my god, they've made a meal of it. What a mistake. What a mistake and what a way to get the goal. Right on half time. I, I completely, like, forgot and lost my focus there. What happened? Did the keeper just throw it to the defender who had, like, two Chelsea players all on his ass, snuck it off and was Masonda, and then 1 0? What a joke. What a joke way to give away. Like, what is, what is Old Black doing? That's ridiculous. And Loftus-Cheek going for the Scorpion kick beforehand. That was a mad like, couple of seconds. I'm disappointed for Loftus-Cheek too that he couldn't pull off the Scorpion kick. Like, take a look. It's, oh, his ankle just bends in like a really bad way too. And that will do it then. Crazy end to the half. Do I think I deserve to be in front? Um, I'm really not sure. I don't think I can say with any confidence I've been the better team by a, white, by a fair bit here. I think Arsenal have had their chances, we've had ours, but they've just thrown away literally like the goal. They've, they've absolutely gifted us the lead right now. Hopefully this means we can maybe go on and see out the win here. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, bad, not good. Missed a slide tackle now. And we have recovered nicely. Ivanovic with the block. Get there first. Oh, I thought he would. And the block again. And it nearly deflected on target. But Cahill stops it and they'll get a corner. Come on, head up. Nice from Ivanovic. Turn around. Van Ginkel. Oh, what a slide tackle. Instantaneous from Alexis Sanchez. Runs around there nicely. And off to the left again. Yeah, and look. Come on. This is this is absolutely no way that we could stuff this up. Do it again. Come on. Shit. Fucking shit. Masonda. Yeah, there we go. Brace. I thought. Oh, man. That we weren't going to get that. Thankfully. Even though Masonda was really far wide. I was hoping Loftus Sheet would have been sent away a little bit more. And that pass really just... Didn't put it for him to run onto. Made him go very wide. But in the end, this finish is phenomenal. Right into that top right-hand corner. Just out, just, just getting past Old Blake. The finish is superb. It had to be. And that's 2-0. Come on, head it. 
There you go. You know, a you know, hat-trick is on here. A hat-trick is on, but I tell you what, a goal here for Loftus-Cheek is as well, I'll say. Hard. Oh, the post denies! The post denies the hat-trick. A good save from Old Black. We nearly had it for Masonda. All right, we'll send away instead Loftus-Cheek here. He's doing a good job of getting in behind. I don't think I'm going to find a way to get this. To or maybe I will here. Come on, turn around. Yes, yes, yeah. Oh, save Old Black again. No, we're getting it for Masonda. It's just Masonda. No, he gets tackled. Maximovic. Oh, yeah, and Old Black. He's, he's a party pooper fucking prick, that cunt. Unbelievable. That was the hat trick right there. Just got saved again. Some phenomenal stops. Masonda Jr., his first goal was a gift. In the end, I think he deserved the hat-trick. But no, he'll just have to settle for the brace. Phenomenal performance either way. Definitely the man of the match. And that is that. 2-0 win against Arsenal. So the Invincibles dream is still on and we beat Arsenal, our last Premier League game against them, to keep it alive. That's lovely. But another set of drills then, of course, like we did uh, in, I think, the previous episode that we switched up the drills, of course. We've got Robinson, Matt Miazga, and Abraham. Abraham's flying with his drills so far, nearly at a 77. This next game against West Ham, I think I'm probably going to sim, even though it is away, I'm going to do it because the game after that in the Premier League is against Leicester, and they are much higher placed than West Ham in this career mode. As you can see, West Ham are 12th right now, and Leicester City are in 7th, although to be fair, that's also with a game less played, so they could win that and jump all the way up to 5th right there. This is our 30th game in the Premier League right here too, by the way, against West Ham. It's also going to be our second team playing it. I wonder why. Oh, we picked up the goal with Moses. That's good. We'll skip ahead. And it's a th it's a 3-1 win again. Loftus-Cheek picking up a brace. He's actually getting a fair few games recently, Loftus-Cheek. Making a lot more appearances now that he's going up in overall. And he's getting on the scorer sheet as well. Now, let me do the math here. We're 30 games in, okay? Spurs are the second best team. They have 58 points. We have 84. Is, is the Premier League wrapped up already? There are eight games left to go. A total of 20... What? Hang a minute. There are a total of like 24 points left to get. And with eight games left to go, we have a 26-point lead. We have won the Premier League. We're like, it's done. We've won the Premier League with 30 games played. We have eight left, and we've already won the Premier League. And we've got 27 wins and three draws, no losses. Have you ever seen anything like... like no, that's, that's, that, that is the earliest I have ever wrapped up a Premier League in any career mode. I would almost think ever. I keep talking about records and stuff like that. Like, what is the, the biggest winning margin in a Premier League history? Has anyone won by more than 20 points? I, I, I swear there can't have been. More than 20 points. I, like, no. I think we are on to just break all the records that any Premier League club before has set. So then, I guess all we have left to play is the Premier League game right there, of course, against Leicester City, and then that match against Inter Milan. To be honest with you, I might even, because the fact that these two games are so close between each other, I might, I don't know, it's a bit of a risk, I might sim the game, the first leg against Inter, and then play the second in this episode. I'm not too sure. So look, here's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm not going to sim the first leg. I, I've, decided, I've made the decision. I, I don't want to, you know, go into the second leg and potentially be down or needing a goal or two or God knows even three. I don't want to do that to myself. I could be going into the second leg with the advantage if I sim, but I just want to make sure I leave it up to myself. This is what I'm going to play, the team against Leicester City. As you can see, once again, Remy, Pedro, Quadrado, Willian, Chalaba, Lewis, Baker, John, like, John fucking Terry, Moses is going to be at right back, Alonso's back in, Begovic is at goal. Like, I'm seriously just throwing out the most random team ever just to save like e like save energy and stamina for that game that we have three days uh, later in the, pre in the Champions League. It's crazy with the game, with the Premier League one this early. But yeah, I, we're just going to have to get through it then. We're going to try to hopefully see out the games as well to keep this undefeated streak going. We want our own invincible season. Even with the Premier League 1, that is still the goal. Because like I say, I mean, with the Premier League 1, we definitely want to be able to use our best players and rest them for all the Champions League games now that we have to play. But we still want to make sure that we see out the season undefeated. But... I, we're just going to figure it out. This is definitely something that I've not really had to do before in a career. Or at least, you know, not for this long a time with this many games left to play. But here we go then. Leicester City still rocking that 4-4-2. John Obi Mikel is in the team. I forgot about that. We did sell him on. And uh, there are some other nice names in there too. Luciano Vieto they have on the bench as well. All right then, let's be professional. Even with the team that we have out there. Let's go. Slowly taking it. Easy does it. Willie Ann, come on, get the pass off. And another one there. Very nice. This Remy Bang. Finished, no, head out, punched away by the keeper. It's just high enough for him to get there. And into the middle again. I could take a pop from distance with Baker. Does he have the shot? Does he? Does he? Yes, he does! 
1 0 to Lewis Baker. To Lewis Baker. The whole team may as well be Lewis Baker. Like, literally, he just sat there. He just took the shot from how far out? 30 yards? What a pop. I just saw a paddock in front. I'm like, you know, I'm just going to charge this up. Bang. Nearly got in front, actually. I think that's Mendy. That finish is phenomenal. This is going to be, like, literally the perfect angle. Look, it's actually going wide, but it curls back in. Look at where this finishes. Oh, boy. That is lovely. That is, whenever I get that, whenever I get so much space right in front of goal, you always have to go for it. Chalmers right there for the fall of the ball. Very nice work indeed. Squeeze through. Bounces very friendly. Willian. Back from maybe Willian here. And bang again. Strike blocked. It's going to fall. Chalaber. Bang. Finish. Save. Oh, he's offside. He could have had the follow-up, but it just got off. Oh. Vardy's away. He has pace. He's getting in through the gap here. Shot. There. Save. Begovic. There we go. Had to make it. Oh, lovely move. Chalaber. And that is going to be a free kick. We don't have any big free kick takers. We have Lewis Baker, actually. He does. He can shoot the ball. As he did prove already, he's got some free kick stats. Like 86 free kick accuracy. Good power. Good curve. Maybe if I angle this right, I've never practiced free kicks with him. I don't know what it's going to take. Not a bad effort. Oh my god, save! That was going top bins. What a tackle from Chalaba. He doesn't get to his feet, though. Slight tackle again. They both go in for it. you got to stop moaning around, Mendy. And <laughs> that was a weird half. Mendy's just, like, bloody whinging and crying on the ground. The ball was right there. He just didn't get up. Whatever. We are 1-0 in front, thanks to an absolute bomb by that man, Lewis Baker. Nice tackle. Nice indeed. And off to the right again. Sets up here. Oh, Willian again. These last touches that we're setting ourselves up for a shot for are absolute garbage. Uh, I see the gap, but I don't think Remy has got enough pace to get in there. Oh, I tell you what, though. Baker does get through to him somehow. And he... he, he yeah, you know, he does find a way to get the shot off. I thought he was going to end up getting tackled beforehand. Did find a way. It must have just been a toe poke in order for it to have happened. But in the end, still saved by their keeper. Oh, wow. And look, they're going to get one last counter-attack maybe here. Picked off, please, Moses, please. He can't pass it. He can't get by Mares. And now they are away, I think, here. Vieto... Tries the ball over the top. Header. Marcus Alonso. They just can't get rid of. Their attack is still going here. The header is one. They go all the way forward. Fucking shocking defense. This unit is garbage. Thank God. Obviously, this is the reason why they're not playing. Oh, my God. Well, we hang on and do win the game 1-0. Thankfully. I don't fucking know how, but... Uh, some of the goals uh, that we've gotten, it's been crazy. The gift that we got in the first game that uh, Masonda scored. And then this one. This ridiculous bomb by Lewis Baker is the difference. And the wins still just keep coming for Chelsea. I think that's, what, number 28 now in the season. I don't know what the most is, but we're shooting for 30. A little bit more player training too, by the way. And Robinson now up to a 73. His stats right there, the chance creation stats, really coming along very, very quickly. And now we're going to go back to the first team for this first leg in the round of, uh, not the round of 16, in the quarterfinals of the Champions League against Inter Milan. And if I can, hopefully do exactly what I did to Atletico and just win by a ridiculously large, huge margin that's just not catchable by any means, like 3-0, 4-0 or something like that, maybe I might consider simming the second because then again, the second is going to be an away leg. But we are back to our best, as you can clearly see now. Batchwide, Bale, Hazard, they're all in. De Bruyne, Fabregas, Sanchez, of course, and Golo Conte is still out injured. He might be hopefully coming back soon toward the end. Who knows? Aspi, David, uh, David Luiz, Zuma Pereira, and of course Edison. That is my best team, of course, minus N'Golo Conte. But that is that. There you go. It is going to be into Milan versus Chelsea in the quarterfinals. Can we go even further? Can we reach the semis? Let's do it. So bring it on then, boys. This is it. We have got two former winners of this competition, quite recent winners as well, if you're looking through the modern, uh, recent modern years of football here. Of course, Inter Milan and Chelsea. So we are going to see one of these teams going through. And man, I really hope it's going to be us. But this is the Inter team. And I am going to try my best not to underestimate this team because they have some very good players in there, some high-rated ones. Like Jao Mario, we took a look at, who was 87 rated. Some other players in here that might be pretty decent. Their keeper, Handanovic, is one of the best in the world. And then you've got Gabriel, by the way. Or uh, uh, I forget what his nickname is, Gabriel. I, I don't know. He's got some weird kind of funny nickname. But he's a very high potential player. He could be pretty decently rated. I have got to make sure that I rate this team as highly as possible and take them as seriously as possible. If I can do what I did to Atletico in the first leg of the round of 16, then that would just be, that would be superb. Not good fucking that. Oh, what is that? And the shot is, what is that as well? What is that by Aspilicueta? Let the, let the fucking attacker get by him so easily. I'm going to keep going because I feel like a goal is, it's, it's coming. It's coming. It's there. It's a header. Handanovic punches before Batchwai can get ahead to it. 
Oh, wow, look at Sanchez. Rapid slide tackle in there as well. Gets the ball back. This is lovely by Renato Sanchez. He might actually set up an opportunity here for Fabregas. Bang, tried the shot. I knew that was getting blocked. And look at the clearance by Antaldi. Their defense is absolutely fucking phenomenal. Got to go quick. Got to go quick. Fabregas turns around. And Medell, there's a foul. No, this just, it's halftime. He just turned the ball over as soon as he touched it. That's that. They're everywhere. They're putting the squeeze on me. I don't get any space to move or to operate. The pressure they're putting on, phenomenal. Their defense as well, when I do get through, very good as well. Their attacks occasionally look good. But right now, it's just nah, nothing. Nothing happening for either side. Fabregas, bail sharp, turn indeed. Where was Mitchie Batchwai going in that exchange? I just I have no idea. Where was Mitchie Batchwai going? He just started running away to the other fucking goal. Pass. Another pass. I can sense something here. And off to the right again. Please bail. Know what I'm doing. Blocked by Bat- I'm going to get the cut off in a second. What are you doing? Mitchie Batchwai is normally amazing for me. But today, he completely runs in the total opposite direction when we have a real goal, uh, goal scoring chance on. And in that one, he blocks his own teammate. Why the fuck? What are you doing on this pitch? If he pulls that fucking shit again, he's going to be gone. I'm telling you. Come on. You want this defender to come to me? I want Bale to get away here. We're going to pass to fucking Mitchie Batchwai instead. God damn. Ball over the top if we can get it. I probably didn't even need to do that, but whatever. Sanchez. Bang! Oh! It's a bit too high. Oh, tackle though. Tackle though. What a moment. What a moment. What a moment. What a moment! 1-0! With 12 minutes left, we take the lead. Again, it's through a mistake. This is how we're getting the goals. I swear, like, I was on autopilot when this happened too. He threw it to the defender, took a touch, like he just didn't even know that Bale was there, got it to Batchwai. Even the finish wasn't that amazing, to be fair. This got pretty close to the keeper, stuck out a foot, just could not get just could not get anything on it, and we are leading 1-0. Okay, well, this is a big moment in the game, obviously, but if they do still get a goal here and we end this 1-1, then they're still in the advantage without a away goal. I think they're going to push pretty hard, you know, to try to get this cross. Head up, De Bruyne! Oh, no! That would have been a lovely little dink over the keeper. How could you just put that one wide? That would have been nice. Four minutes of stoppage time. If they want to try to get the away goal, they're going to have to... Wow, four minutes of stoppage time went so quickly. 1-0 is the score in the end. We've won the game, and it's not one of my finer performances. And again, the goal comes through insane, insane, in such an insane way. How the hell can the keeper just give it away, throw it right to a defender? Defender's got no idea. Bale picks it off, and Batchwai puts it in. And we are going to go into the second leg with the, uh, with the advantage for now, and the chance of potentially getting a away goal and maybe bury it. One goal in the second leg is going to be huge for us because that means obviously we'd have scored two and we have that away goal when they don't. That would mean they'd have to score three goals against us in that one game. So I think um, I'm probably still going to have to play that second game because I will not feel confident simming it. I think all I'm going to do now is just advance to that game. Of course, Crystal Palace is the next match that we have. I'm going to sim this one again at home and again in the Premier League where, you know, we've already got it wrapped up. So I really don't mind too much. But then again... The fact that we could go completely undefeated in a season, it still makes me think, oh shit, I really want to make sure I don't mess it up. So it's at home, Chelsea versus Crystal Palace. They have drawn, lost, and won their last three games, their win being against Sunderland 3-0. Crystal Palace, what have you... It's an immediately a goal. That is... Oh, whenever we score so early, that's always a great sign. And it is going to be a 2-1 win, thankfully. Matt Miazga, we conceded in the 25th minute, which isn't good. But in the second half, Miazga with a goal. I'm assuming from a cross or from a corner or something. But there you go. 2-1 win with the second team too. Last little bit of training as well before we advance to the next game and then leave the episode there. But the second, this next episode is going to be huge. It's going to be absolutely gigantic because we are potentially on the verge of a semi-final. But we're leaving it here, guys. The first game in the next is going to be the away leg against Inter Milan. Easily a much tougher opponent, or at least off that last game, compared to Atletico. And you wouldn't have thought so, but yes, they're a good side. And away, it might be even harder for me to get goals. But that will do it for me, guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe. But before we let you go, it is time for you to guess the player. And here is the player that you have to try to guess. If you know who this current or former Chelsea player is, leave him in the comments down below. You may be featured in the next episode. And so until that next episode, my name is Master Bucks, and have a good one.